And new tonight, it looks like the way we learn about Buffalo police officers behavior records is going to be changing. A judge issued an injunction concerning state law 50 a which now blocks the release of those records, at least temporarily for the department. So as the issue is debated in court, it seems like we won't have the same access to report on officers records as we have several times the past few weeks. Tune your sides. Michael Wooten spoke with Jim Haney of Investigative Post about what this means. And joining us now is Jim Heaney, editor of Investigative Post, who broke this story earlier today. So, Jim, first of all, can you walk us through uh, what this ruling means? What it means is uh, until the judge holds a hearing at the end of August, the police department is prohibited from releasing most of the disciplinary records that they've uh, been making uh, public to attorneys and reporters who have filed FOI requests over the last month. And this is connected to what's happening down in New York City as well, right? Yeah, there was a similar legal action in ruling uh, on the 15th of July dealing with the New York uh, Police Department and the police union down there. And so I know you got reaction today from Buffalo Police. In a practical sense, what is the department telling you will change immediately? Well, they're out of the business of releasing uh, the, the records that they've been releasing over the past month, there's been about uh, several dozen FOI requests that they've honored uh, that they tell me uh, are on hold until the matter gets settled in the courts. And then finally, as you mentioned, this is an injunction, so there's going to be a full hearing. Um, this is kind of, I guess, a, a placeholder decision, right? And then we'll learn a lot more once this actually goes before the judge. Yeah, yeah. I, I think from a reporting perspective, of the problem with this ruling is those of us who are attempting to report on a, a police misconduct, uh, the access to these records uh, are critical. So this really puts a damper on, on, on the part of journalists who are trying to expose um, police misconduct that's been hidden uh, behind this 50A uh, law that got repealed by the governor and the legislature last uh, month. Uh, this is bad news for transparency. All right, Jim Heaney, editor with Investigative Post. Uh, Jim, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thanks, Michael.